getting set to begin here after the preliminaries took place last week. Audio FC here in the first half. And the Brazilian is he's on. And had to leave the match on the. But so odd to see the visitor. Danino gets up and it's directed in by Washington Caruso. Now they wave it off. The official is being granted a, a lot of help from that bench. You might be right, coach. Might have gotten off Cueo and in. <laughs> Also with the foul. That is definitely one of those moments that a VAR system makes a difference. You know, let's make sure we get it right. It's a 2v2 game right now against the sideline. Caroso. Making the run beautifully done. Inside the box. Cross looking for Deneno. It turned it wide. Awesome. So incredible. And found his target. That's where they go. What we don't know is that if SAFC wins tonight and Pumas then wins on Monday, well, they, do we do uh, goal differential? Well, they, yeah, 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 it would have to be. It would have to be. Tiebreaker material. Caroso. Directed out by Varela. You kind of assume he's got no angle. But he found one. Mm. Did you think about where that started, Coach? On a ball up on the right touch line, tremendous run by Gutierrez, service across the entire face of goal through the box right. to the near side touch line for Caroso, who then put it back into space. And here's Caroso making the run again. Caroso so quick. That's a deflection. That's back out to Maritau and with 15 to go, you almost sense uh, Puma's turning it up a notch. Like they've been waiting. Galindo, Deneno, Caroso, volleys it along, Deneno can't get to the end of it. Caroso. Play. Caroso close settles. It down, close it down quickly. Varela the clearance. Heavy on the touch, flick back along inside the box. Said you could see Puma suddenly finding another gear. And uh, 7.30 here at Toyota Field. As Gutierrez cuts it back into the inside corner of the box, sends it in. No, oh, Washington Caruso got up but missed on the free header just outside the six. Tickets to that match. She expect them. Doesn't get it the second or third one, will. Alvarez. Low strike block back out. Fabio Alvarez stays with the play. Caroso turning to himself. Cross directed out. Caroso, the service here, the in swinger, will now play again short to Leonel Lopez. Inside the box it comes. Lopez flicks it along. Caroso into the middle. El Paso continues to rise, and because they have, I think it's three games in hand over. Caroso puts the finishing touches on this one. Heads it in in the 90th minute for the fourth goal of the evening for Pumas. Over uh, Rio Grande Valley, who's in first place, they're almost in the driver's seat looking at uh, the next few weeks as far as being able to add some points that Rio Grande might not be able to because I think it's nine games to 12 that the difference uh, that they've played. Out of five on the road, so they control that game. Their speed on the wings with Barry, Galena, and Deshane Beckford, to me, that makes them up there to lines as this one finishes at Toyota Field.
The Pumas from Universidad Nacional defeats in the second half for the visitors. Your club season continues next Saturday at 1 o'clock in Colorado Springs for the USL. Have a great night, everyone.